return to the planet of the apes. But it's gigantic! Have you identified the flying object yet? No, sir. It's like nothing we've ever seen before. got to identify it. It's causing panic everywhere. Well, we're trying to get a clear fix on it, sir, but it's very difficult. I don't care how difficult it is. Just get it done. <coughs> sir, its flight path has become highly erratic. I think it's getting ready to attack. What? Code red. Code red. Signal alert. Prepare to be attacked. Alerting all units. Code red. Code red. Deploy defensive units around all military installations. Bring up the cannon and hurry. There it is. There it is. Hurry. Get it in your sights. It's behind us. Turn the cannons around. Turn them around. Have you identified the thing yet? No, sir. But we don't believe it's a stolen aircraft. Why not? It's not making any engine noise, General Urko. I thought our security was foolproof. It is, sir. <coughs> then how did it penetrate our defenses? Where's our intelligence? Why haven't our field units notified us about this thing? They've never seen it before either, sir. They know nothing more than we do. A plot? Could all this be a plot to undermine my leadership of the guerrilla army? If it isn't Blue Eyes and Jeff up there, then what is it? I'm not sure, Zira, but from its size, I can only presume it's some kind of monster. Monster? What kind? One we've never encountered before. Well, Dr. Zayas, has it been determined what kind of danger Ape City is exposed to from the flying creature? None, Your Excellencies. I am pleased to report the creature has been frightened away. Oh? And where has this creature gone? I have no idea, except that it no longer roams the sky above our fair city. Excellent, Dr. Zayas. Now tell us, what is being done to apprehend the blue-eyed humanoid? As this august body will recall, General Erko has been authorized by us to muster all weapons and ape power necessary to capture the beast. True, Dr. Zayas, it was a difficult decision at best. After all, Erko has demonstrated an almost total lack of ability. This is to be the General's final opportunity. He has pledged not to fail, no matter what the cost. But if he does? then I shall look forward to dealing with him in the appropriate way. And if the general locates the humanoid beast? Then I shall recommend to this distinguished council that we authorize a full-scale attack. New Valley is such a beautiful place. I'm sorry to leave it. Hopefully our mission will only take us a short time, Judy but retrieving the airplane is extremely important. I know. We just can't let it fall back into the hands of the apes. And the airplane is the perfect way to keep the open pass of the Ray of New Valley under constant surveillance. That's right. If Urko discovers the pass without our knowing, it would leave the humanoids vulnerable to a guerrilla surprise attack. How about the laser drill? You want to take it with you? It might come in handy, but it's too valuable to risk losing. It's going to be an extremely dangerous mission. We know that, Jeff. Are you sure you want to chance it? 
There are bound to be guerrilla patrols everywhere. We know. We're just going to have to be extremely careful. And prepared for every eventuality. It looks like the humanoids finally have the kind of protection they need against Urko and his guerrillas. And New Valley's pasture land seemed perfect for the herd. They're sure friendly enough. If we can enlarge the herd, they'll be a major factor in our food supply. What's that? It looks like some kind of a prehistoric bird, a pterodactyl or something like it. But if it's prehistoric, what's it doing here? Look, it's heading straight for the herd. Oh, no! It's grabbed one of the pants! Where's it headed? To those caves over there! Incredible! That monster bird picked up the calf with no trouble at all! I wonder if it will come back. Well, if it does, we're in real danger. It could destroy the herd. Once the monster bird realizes we can't defend ourselves, it's bound to attack us constantly. Is all our military equipment ready for the attack on the humanoids? Just a boat, sir. And what about my airplane? Have you found it yet? Not yet, sir. But we've got patrols out searching for it. And what have they come up with? Nothing as yet, General Urko. Nothing. That's all I ever hear from you. Nothing. I need that airplane for the offensive against the humanoids. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Then find it and apprehend the ape traitors who stole it. We have no proof any ape stole the aircraft, General. But they did! They're out to get me, I know it! They want me out and are turning everyone against me! Could it have been the humanoids who stole the airplane, General? No! They're too stupid to know how to fly it. It was some traitorous apes. Sector 8 has been thoroughly searched. The plane is not there. Then start on Sector 9. Remember, General Erko is in no mood to let us get away with failure. I know. I've never seen the General so scared. Or so dangerous. How much further do you figure, Bill? Just a few more miles. We should be there before daybreak. That's if we don't run into any guerrilla patrols along the way. Let's keep our eyes and ears open and our fingers crossed. Bill, look! Fan out and search the area! And don't leave a stone unturned! sectors 10 and 11, sir. Nothing's there. Then start the troops looking through 12. I've already sent an advance party that way, sir. Smart thinking, soldier. Time's growing short. Let's get going. We were lucky not to have been spotted before. We can't take another chance. Bill and Judy should have reached the plane by now. That's if they didn't run into any trouble along the way. It's returned. Take cover. We've got to hurry, Judy. Push harder. I can't, Bill. I'm using all the strength I have. <laughs> it 
It's stampeding the animals. And they're headed right at us. Make for the cut in those rocks. won't kick over. Let's get out of here while we can still save ourselves. And let the plane fall back into Urko's hands? We can't do that, Judy. The apes are coming back, Bill. We can't stay here and risk getting captured. And if we have to leave the plane behind, let's wreck the engine so Urko can't use it. Good idea. But before we do, let me try and start it one more time. There it goes, Bill! Hurry and climb aboard! Someone is trying to steal the aircraft! Quick! After them! After them! Okay, let's go. Don't let them get away! After them! Let her rip, Judy! Those are humanoids in the airplane! Catch them! Catch them! Don't let the beast escape! Monster bird can't get into the cave. It's too big. Well, it looks like the herd is safe for the time being. Maybe it's safe from the monster bird. But unless they have food and water, the herd can't survive for very long. But there's no other entrance to the cave. Then we'll make another entrance by using the laser drill to cut a small opening through the hillside into the cave. It's too dangerous. If the monster bird sees what's going on, it's bound to attack. Maybe, but it's a risk we're going to have to take. Well, we made it without a second to spare. For a while there, I didn't think we would. How's our fuel holding up? Not very well. But if I take the direct path to New Valley, we'll save the most fuel. But won't that take us directly over Ape City? Yes, it will. It's too dangerous, Judy. The apes have the firepower to shoot us down. I think it's worth the risk, Bill. It's vital we conserve every gallon of fuel we have. The laser drill is ready. Now the hole has got to be cut large enough for us to get in, but small enough so the herd can't get out. What about the monster bird? Won't it hear what's going on? I don't think so. 
Not with all the noise the herd is making. Perfect. The monster bird didn't hear a thing. Now we've got to get food and water to the herd. A large flying object is approaching Ape City, sir. Its position is now some 15 miles from the center of the city. What is the object? We don't know as yet, sir. That figures. None of you ever seem to know anything. Well, if it's that big bird that flew over here a while ago, make sure our soldiers are smart enough to shoot it down this time. How much more? We're almost done. We brought the food and water just in time. They were really hungry. That ought to keep them for a few days. Come on, let's get going. <coughs> Jeff, the monster bird spotted us. <coughs> let's move. The monster bird almost caught us. <coughs> Jeff, the monster bird is taking off. I wonder where it's headed. It's my aircraft! My aircraft! I want it back! Do you all understand? I want my aircraft returned immediately! Whomever is responsible for this will pay dearly, I assure all of you. I ordered you to find the aircraft, not let it fall into the hands of the enemy. We were taken by surprise, sir. Excuses, excuses. That's all I ever hear around this place. You let them steal the airplane right from under your noses. And adding insult to injury, you allowed them to fly directly over Ape City at high noon. Why didn't you fire the cannon? Do you realize I'm the laughing stock of the city? There is something suspicious about this. A plot by traitors to get me. But I'll find out who's behind it and make them pay. I wonder who's flying it. Oh, come now, Zira. Surely you must know. But I have no idea, Dr. Zeus. Are you sure? Oh, yes, we're quite sure, Dr. Zeus. Well, whoever is responsible for keeping the aircraft out of General Erko's hands is performing an act of great loyalty to me, and I am very appreciative. Well, it looks like we saved the herd. Not quite. They can't live in the cave indefinitely. They need the open sky and land to graze. But the monster bird is bound to return. Once the herd is out in the open, it'll be able to pick them off one by one. That's why we need the airplane. With it, we have a chance of scaring the thing away. I wonder where Bill and Judy are. Do you think they made it? I hope so. Take cover! Take cover!
attacking a settlement. Look at the size of that thing. creature it really was. Well, I guess we'll never have the chance to know. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> 